If you have experienced hair breakage using clove water, you may be preparing it incorrectly. And so in this video, I will be sharing the secret. Yes, guys, I'm going to be doing a demonstration on how to make your clove water to prevent breakage so that you can experience massive hair growth. Now, this solution will be done in two phases and I will be introducing the ingredients gradually. So please ensure that you stay tuned so you can see each ingredient that I will be using in this mixture. So we start off by adding our cloves to a container, whatever container you have. I prefer stainless steel or glass. This is a stainless steel bowl. And next we are going to be adding our warm water to the cloves just to stimulate the cloves so it can start steeping in the water. So basically we're giving this a gentle stir and we're going to set this aside and allow it to cool down. Now on to our second ingredient, we are using tuna family, you just need to be careful when you are handling the tuna plant, the prickles can get lodged in your fingers. I'm telling you guys, I'm talking from experience, it is a very painful thing, right? So ensure that you clean off your tuna properly. And we are going to be cutting this into small chunks. So just a brief overview on cloves. Cloves have high levels of antioxidants and nutrients that strengthens the follicles and promotes healthy hair growth. Because of the anti-inflammatory properties of cloves, it prevents things like dandruff. The vitamin K in cloves promotes blood circulation and so you can see why it is excellent at promoting hair growth. Personally, I found that using cloves also slow down graying. Now the tuna or cactus plant has been used in Jamaica for centuries to prevent excessive hair shedding. It is a good source of B vitamins and guess what, it also contains vitamin K. Tuna contains traces of calcium, potassium and magnesium and the tuna plant can help with rapid healing of scalp scars. So we're gonna add our tuna to a glass jar and now that the clove water has cooled down, we are going to transfer that to the tuna mixture. Now we're just going to gently shake this and we are going to leave it overnight. We will come back tomorrow and do the final stage. So this is day two. We left the mixture overnight and we're now just going to strain and we will add our third ingredient so guys you can see the beautiful brown color and how thick this mixture is it's going to provide your hair with so much moisture and you will receive all the benefits of the cloves and the tuna so next transfer your mixture to an applicator bottle and our third ingredient is glycerin family glycerin actually attracts moisture to the hair and so this also will help to prevent breakage and prevent your hair from drying out easily now it's time to apply the mixture guys i've been wearing this protective style for almost four weeks now and so i'm going to be keeping it in for a while because while i got a lot of volume last year this year i'm focused more on length and so i'll be doing a lot of protective style and basically i'm applying the mixture to my scalp you can go ahead after you finish because i'll be doing that i just won't be doing this on camera but i'll be adding my hair growth oil to my strands and my scalp when i'm through with this stage to trap the moisture you can also put on a plastic cap for this process i'm gently massaging the scalp to get that blood circulation going and family that's it for this video thank you very much for watching i hope this helps for persons who complain about clothes drying out the hair. Now, I am Evziba. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.